regulation is a very serious thing and it should be reserved for games that are gambling, that fit the definition of gambling, where there is consideration and prize, which is not the case um, with, with these games. So we do self-regulate, we do take it seriously. We're not opening it for children. So we're not, uh, we're not opening a casino for children to play and serving them Coke and, and virtual coins. We're actually uh, encouraging that not to happen and making sure that it doesn't happen. Yes, the UK regulators are very sensible, they're very measured, they do a lot of research, they speak to a lot of people, they come to industry conferences, they speak at conferences, they come to the gaming shows and conventions. So I think that the way that they're pr proceeding is the way we would like to see other regulators and other governments proceed. They're not gambling games. They're themed like casino and themed like casino games, but they're not gambling games. I think there's a misperception. I think there's a bit of a hysteria around these social games. It's a very new industry. We see that these games, and we make these games, to be very much like Farmville or Cityville or Angry Birds. These are social games. 98% of our players don't spend any money on these games. The 2% that spend money spend it for entertainment with no expectation and no possibility of winning anything other than added time to their games. And so we think that we need to do maybe a better job at educating journalists and educating the public about the fact that these games are very much the same as the other social games that they've been playing.